Listen, we got you surrounded. Come on out with your hands up. There she is. Oh, she's healing herself. <laughs> All right, survivors, Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to RL Craft. We are picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We are at the Cozy Tower, um, just outside of Funky Town, and I am paying my last respects here to our fallen comrade, Strongy, the pixie Strongy that we had um, befriended a few episodes ago, and she was killed. Killed in action, defending against the swarm of 2019. And that happened uh, while we were down in the nether, apparently, because I had come out of the nether after the end of the last episode with a bunch of goodies, and there were vespids flying around. Vespids are like hornets um, and uh, wasps or whatever, and they were all, all over the dang place. And uh, a couple of them got in here and attacked inside the cloud tower and killed little Strongy. So fortunately, Hasty and Speedy were spared because of uh, Goldie here, the Hippogriff, did fight back. And this is what I found when I got back. <laughs> what was left of the invader. This was what the Vespid dropped. A Stinger level 2. Good job, Goldie! Goldie was actually hurt pretty badly, down to about half health. But uh, he survived the battle against the Vespid, and now we have a tail here. I actually have two tails. This is from one that I had killed. And then I got a bunch of stuff down in the nether, too. We got the Wraith Skull. Remember, we got that in the last episode. And I got a Cinder Blade, too, level two. So I think what we're going to do today is make that Equipment Forge we had taken a very quick look at in the last episode. Um, and then we can make some kind of crazy weapons with all these animal parts from Lycanite's mobs. So I think we're gonna do that right now. I think we're gonna do that right now. And by the way, I did actually get a skeleton skull. It took me a long time, but I killed many, many wither skeletons down in the nether and I finally got um, the, uh, the skull and I put it right there for now. We're gonna get to that eventually. I really wanna work on this equipment forge thing. So why don't we do that right now? And the first thing we're gonna need is some more experience. Experience. So all that experience I've been saving up. What is that thing out there? Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Is that, is that friendly? Oh, it's a self. Hi. Hi, self. Wow. Oh, he's not so friendly after all. Ow. What the heck? He smited me. Oh, my gosh. Really? I thought sylphs were friendly. <laughs> this one, not so much. I can't believe he smited me. Dude, I'm going to smite you right back. Fool. Wow, is he tough. Holy smokes, that guy's tough. Let me um put my experience back away. Um, I don't want to die to this thing. <laughs> I don't even have any armor on. Holy cow, where is all my armor? Uh, you know what? I think it might be... Oh, no. Where is all my armor? I don't, I don't know where my armor is. Um, well, we're just gonna have to do this without armor. That's fine. I'm gonna wreck this guy. This thing has super reach. Wham! I wonder what a sylph drops. Man, is he tough. He is taking some serious damage. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. We got him. Ooh, he makes music when you whack him. That's kind of cool. Come on down here, dude. We got him. He makes music every time you hit him. I don't want to kill him over the... Over there. I want to kill him right here and see what he drops. Golden teeth! All right, is it safe to go out there? <laughs> Wait, that's all it dropped? Glowstone dust and a few golden nuggets? All right, a new day has dawned, so let's get started on this project. I'm going to grab all of my experience from my XP tome. We've got 25 XP, and we're going to need at least 12 um, building, I think, for this. Let me just double check. We needed uh, greater equipment forge level 2 in order to use our level 2 body parts. Right, so we have a Wraith Skull level 2, Cinder Blade level 2, and a Vespid Stinger at level 2 and level 1. So we need to make this Equipment Forge a level 2, which means we've got to start with the level 1 first. So let's go ahead and do that. Should be easy peasy. We make a wooden axe and then a wooden crafting table. Put those two together and we get a Lesser Equipment Forge level 1. And we need a block of iron. Oops, excuse me, a little head. Um, and we put this guy in here, block of iron, and now we have a greater equipment forge that I will not be able to use. Now, because I need 12 points in, uh, 
in building skill. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be costly, but it will be worth it. We've been saving up all this experience. So we've got 14 experience left, and I think I'm just going to hold on to that for now. Let me grab that book back. This tome is so nice, you can store it away. Keep it nice and safe in the book, because we don't need it right now. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of this block right here. Does that... Okay. We got space right there. And we'll put the little mushroom thing away. Boom. Uh, Alright, so now we have a Greater Equipment Forge Level 2. And I've done a bit of research on this. So I kind of, sort of, know what we need. So the way this works is we have to provide a base item first. And a base item can be made out of iron, or even wood for that matter. So we got a wooden rod here. And we can make that with some sticks. But we want to use the iron because I think the iron base will be better. Which is this guy right here. But we're going to make the wooden first. Then we can make the iron. Um, and then we can drop that in that base slot. And I'll show you what we do from there. So first things first, we have a, a wooden rod. And then a couple of iron. Now we have an iron rod. So when we put the... Oh, look at that. I think this can actually be used as a weapon or something, but it's not... Yeah, maybe not. Um, Alright, let's dump it in here. We take the iron rod, level 1. Now I wonder how do we make a level 2 iron rod? I'm not really sure. But we're just going to have to go with the 1 for now. And then this opens up these two slots here. This takes a pommel, and this takes a head. Because right now, there's nothing there. We need at least three of these things populated in order to craft this special item. And that's where these little fellers come in. So, a stinger, for example, is a slot-type pommel, right? So, if we put that here in the pommel, we now have this crafted equipment, an iron rod, and a vestment stinger. But we still need a head. We don't have that right now, so we have to make one. And that, to find it, you have to type in Hilt. And I'm pretty sure the developer said he's going to change this to uh, called a Guard. But for now, it's a Hilt. If you have the newer version, it's going to be called a Guard. But that's what we need right here. So three sticks to make the wooden Hilt, and then we're going to turn it into Iron. So let's go ahead and do that. We want the wooden feller. And then we want the iron feller right there. So we have an Iron Hilt level 1 which is a head slot, and we can pop that right in there. So now we have the three pieces. I think I could take this out right now, but I don't want to do that. Although, as far as I know, we can take it out and put it back in. Oh, we can't take it out right now. Huh. All right. Um, I think maybe the pommel is optional, so we still have to do three other pieces, as far as I can tell. So what we need now is the blade. And fortunately, we have a cinder blade at level two, which has some really cool effects. For example, it has a fire effect. So when we hit targets, it's going to set them on fire, right? At least that's what I think it does. And it can be used as a ranged weapon. Um, it fires ember projectiles. Secondary use. I'm assuming that's going to be the right mouse button. That's our blade. So there we go. Look at that thing. It's so cool. So it's an iron rod level 1, iron hilt level 1, cinder blade level 1, level 2. <laughs> Uh, a Vespid Stinger at level 1, level 2, and that um, actually has a poison debuff, which is super nice. And I think we can take that out of there and hopefully nothing crashes, you never can tell. Look at that thing! Holy cow, it's huge! That's a big sword thing, and it has the Stinger on the back. Look at that, it's got the Vespid Stinger on the back, and the Cinder Blade up front for setting fires. Uh, well, we don't want to use it in here. I think if I right-click, it's going to shoot fire out. All right, that is awesome. Let's go outside and give it a try and go stab some critters and see how it works. By the way, we can also make, like, a Paxel, which is a tool that combines um, everything. A sword, uh, not a sword, a uh, pickaxe, axe, shovel, and a hoe into one particular tool. And it's apparently, according to the uh, developer, it's as fast as diamond. So we might want to make that too. Yeah, Iron Paxel right here is supposed to be as fast as diamond, at least according to the developer. I did watch uh, one of his videos on this, so I knew what to do today. Um, I think what I'm going to do is wait for dark, go to bed, and then we're going to go out and go chop up some bad guys with our new sword. we got a dude way up top. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to bed and let's go try this out.
I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Probably shouldn't be sleeping with a flaming sword in my bed made of wool. <laughs> Seems a little crazy. So, all right, let's, uh, I don't want to burn anybody. You're going to have to put that thing. Wow! Hey, hey, oh, 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 you. Oh, that's okay. I have a second floor now. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, get that guy. Oh, gosh. Eh, we're good. How's my head? Head's fine. Man, you know, I built the second floor so they wouldn't get in and to protect my little pixies over there, but they still managed to get in. What is that? <gasps> Guys, we just got a new pommel type. Holy smokes, hold on a sec. I love it. It's a level three pommel. Wow, it does levitation. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and it can summon a djinn. The j -j -j djinn. Five percent chance, wow. But that's a level three forge. So what is a level three forge? And what does that require in skill and expense? Mm, let's find out. Right here, a master equipment forge, level 18 building. Oh my. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that away in here with all of our other special loots. And someday when we have building 18, we'll be able to um, be able to make this thing. Yeah, building 18. Yeah, that's going to be a long time. Something to look forward to. All right, let's go out and stab some things and blast them with our new crafted sword. All right, let's get Rocky out here. Rocky! Uh-oh, somebody's here. Hi. Dang it. Oh, what the heck? Really? Guys, I just want to leave. <laughs> All these distractions. You kill something and something pops out of it. We're drawing in chaotic energy. That doesn't sound cool. Um, I just want to get Rocky out here. Where is the old rock? Summon the rock! Dude, do you have my armor? You don't have my armor either. Where the heck's my armor? I don't know. Um, maybe it's on... Oh, you know what? I think it's on the warg. I think it's on our warg. Did we ever give our warg a name? Wags? Is that what we call them? We call them wags? <laughs> Rocky says we call them wags. Well, if that's what we call them, then that's what we call them. I think we did call them wags. All right. Well, let's go see if wags has our armor. Oh, I left the heat on here. Wow, what a waste. What a waste of money. Let's go see if he's down here. Oh, wags. There's wags. Yeah, we haven't been back here since Halloween. How are we doing, wags? He does not have my armor on him. Oh, here it is. I found it. It was at my buffalo apartment. All right, fantastic. Let's put it on. Because <laughs> it's starting to warm up now. Now that it's spring, we don't really need the uh, heavy wools on anymore. So let's put this stuff on you, buddy. And now let's go try out this sword. And I'll use it in my main slot. And try not to burn anyone. Let's get out of buffalo. I don't want to burn the place down. Because it does shoot out flames, which is really, really cool. But also super dangerous. Oh, that's a wisp, right. See, the wisps are friendly. Not the sylphs. I, I got those two confused. They all look the same to me. All right, let's, uh, let's shoot some sheep and stab them with our new thingy here. Don't you go anywhere now. Might need you. All right, here we go. Our first demonstration. Kind of cold here, isn't it? Maybe I should have kept the wolves on. All right, sheep. This shouldn't hurt too much. I'm going to stab one first and see how that goes. Wham! What the? Holy smokes. It killed him in one hit. I kind of want to set him on fire. Can you hook me up with some heal in there? My head hurts. Thanks. Wow, that was pretty easy. I, I kind of want him to live and I want to watch him burn or get poisoned. There we go. Wow, this thing does some serious damage. He's down to... Point three. Uh, what? Really, Tom? You're healing this thing up? That's fine. Go ahead, because we we have we have something else to try. <laughs> Let's try a right click, and that is the Ember attack. Does this thing use mana? Because I could just hold this down all day. Wow, that seems really OP, doesn't it? I don't see any mana. It's not degrading. This weapon doesn't have any durability so it seems to just keep shooting and shooting here's another sheep over here let's try that again I just don't want to burn my rock I'm wondering if I can get um, some cooked mutton can we cook that mutton 
Because that would be a super convenient thing to have. It did not cook that mutton. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, can we cook turkeys? Let's go see if we can cook a turkey. Maybe I have to stab them and then set them on fire. That's not cooked turkey either. Alright, let's, let's burn this guy. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it just keeps shooting. That's insane. It shoots a lot of flames. But it doesn't cook at the same time, and that is disturbing. Maybe I have to set him on fire. Or does it melt ice or snow? No. It doesn't melt anything, but it does melt the enemies. That's for dang sure. Um, okay. So, here's what we're going to do. Whoops, that's the wrong button. I want to bring up my map. Where can we go and try this thing out? Think we can go kill an ice dragon with this thing? No, probably not. <laughs> Although, they, I bet they have a weakness to ice, don't they? I mean, to uh, fire? Ice dragon? Well, if they don't, they should. So, just saying. Oh, everybody's skating. Hey, guys, you know it's spring, right? You know that your ice skating rink is going to melt. Probably. And then it's going to be a swimming pool, which is pretty cool, too. Maybe not quite so fun as ice skating. Ooh, somebody's shuffling their feet a lot over here. All right, everybody's going to bed. That's our cue to get the heck out of here. I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to run back. Oh! What the heck just happened to Rocky? Rocky just keeled over and died. Uh, well, it's okay because we are soul bound. Um, I can bring him back and I better do this right now with our little friend here. Uh, how do we do this again? We're soul bound. Okay. Whew. Your warg has been bound. You'll now find it in your mount manager. All right, that was really odd that Rocky just literally keeled over and died, and I don't know exactly why. Was he on fire? Did somebody kill him or something? I don't know. I gotta go back and watch that video. It was kind of funny. Fortunately, I was close to the ground, because if he dies in flight, does that mean I'm gonna fall to the ground? I don't know. Yeah, he's respawning right now, so we can't call him to us right now. But um, we can call the warg and then run home or we'll just wait for Rocky. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Whoa! Man, I hate when it does that. Yeah, I'm just going to chill out here for a little bit and then we'll head back home. And uh, we'll figure out what we want to do for the rest of the day. All right. I think we can get Rocky out now. Yes. All right. Let us... Uh, wait. Dismiss. Dude, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. So, he's summoned automatically. Whoa. Wait a second. I just heard a witch. I hear a witch. Which one of you is a witch? Who's hiding the witch? You guys hear a witch? All right, Rocky, stay right here. We're going to go on a witch hunt. Where is the witch? There might be uh, some sewers and stuff down here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I hear it. I hear, I hear the witch. All right. Maybe... Is there an upper floor up here? A dark upper floor. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. Okay, this fire, <laughs> it does not burn the surrounding blocks, which is super nice. Is there a witch up here? Oh, dude, you okay? Tom? Tom? Medic, we need a medic here. Where's Tom? This guy is almost dead, down to two. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Frank has got somebody in his sight. Somebody's up there. I think there's a witch on the third floor. Is there like an attic or something? Oh, there is. There's definitely something up there. Everybody's looking up. Up at the top of this building. How can we get up there? Um, well, we can fly up. Let's fly up. I don't want to burn you, dude, with my, my new sword. I think it's going to be kind of dangerous. <laughs> Alright, you stay here. That's not what I... Dude! Alright, fine. Stay right there. I'm going in. I'm going in. I got this, Frank. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. She's close. Whoa, is it dark in here? Yep. This is where the witch is hiding out, apparently. Let's get some light up here on the subject. I know you're down there, witch. Show yourself. I'm not going down there until she shows herself because she's going to start throwing stuff at me as soon as I drop down. And I'm just going to burn her from right here. Listen, we got you surrounded. Come on out with your hands up. There she is. 
Oh, she's healing herself. <laughs> we are not going to be able to burn her with this thing. Because she's healing as fast as we're doing damage. This does not do a lot of damage. Keeps her busy though, doesn't it? Oh, she's throwing stuff. Throwing stuff. Alright, let's uh, let's jump down there and whack her with a sword. Shield isn't really going to help us any. Alright, she's right beneath us. Let's get her busy. Wham! Whack! Oh, oh, she's tough. But not tough enough, lady. Ha ha ha. All right, we are the Witch Hunter Extraordinaire. Whoops. What did she drop? Anything special? Um, sugar. She just dropped sugar. Okay, everybody, you can go back to doing what you're doing. And now I gotta get out of here and fix this hole I made. I'm gonna leave it dark, because that's kind of fun. All right. Work, uh, work is done here. Oh, <laughs> that was close. I slipped. I tried to jump, but I slipped. But uh, fortunately, Rocky was there to catch me. Okay. Hey, Tom, go heal this guy up over here, okay? We need a medic. Switch did some damage. You know what? It's not my problem. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back to Cozy Tower. And we'll call it a day because... Oh, a little lag there. Because I am... Uh, I'm still suffering from uh, cold here. Just kind of at the end of it, but... Still don't feel right 100%. Well, unfortunately, the uh, the ember effect, the fire, does not cook our meat instantly, so we're still going to have to cook it old school style, which is perfectly fine, because we do get experience that way anyway, right? Yes, indeed, we do. All right, let's put the backpack down. we got a whole bunch of meat in here to cook up for next time, and I think what I'm going to do is get organized eyes. And then uh, maybe in the next episode, we'll, we'll try to make a Paxel and see how that works out. But yeah, this is um, this is a pretty neat little thing, this, this equipment forge. And I love this sword. This thing is insane. It poisons, it burns, and it shoots cool embers. Oh, look at that. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.